the doubt sessions that were there for me like every day we were having any doubt session whenever we are getting any doubts we can just simply ask in the doubt session or outside for the batch manager the most supportive person i have ever you know encountered in my life and he was guiding me throughout the journey yeah. i was in the state i was in this touch with him throughout the whole journey and i never never felt that i never met him or he's just online i felt that he's there with me hmm. all the time and the doubt solvers hmm. they were playing the very main role whenever yeah. we are having any doubts yeah. they are uh, replying us even if it is midnight and i'm asking any query if they are present or yeah. online they definitely gonna reply so it was the thing that i found very helpful <laughs> Hi guys so we have a very very interesting guest today with us and uh, her name is Aditi and the most interesting part here is that we get so many questions from people that can non technical people get through i don't have a tech background i don't come from b tech and they think they are somehow inferior enough will not be able to grasp those skills will never be eligible for all of these companies but so today's story should be a really really inspiring one for all of you guys so let's just get to the point let's just start with asking aditi what her background is what she has done where is she born where was she born where has she been what brought up right over to you aditi so my name is aditi singh i am born and brought up in delhi i have done my schooling from ramor singh senior secondary school and i have completed my graduation in ba program right aditi so very interesting aditi uh, has done her ba right so that's bachelor's in arts and so how was the ba experience like and what was the plan like when you chose ba what were you looking at as for like accomplishing in your career at that point of time so my choosing ba i uh, choose it for a very uh, government, uh, government job because there is so much security in that but after uh, but by there being there in ba i realized that this is not so interesting <laughs> and also i when i started facing the lockdown period i realized that it sector is one thing that is growing so rapidly mm-hmm. so in lockdown period i started researching more and more upon uh, it sectors and started enhancing about it uh, myself i mean my skills uh, that then i decided that coding is something where i can go and make a career in it got it very interesting so generally it takes me a mammoth amount of effort to convince someone or usko batana samjhana ki boss government job what your reasons to pick up preparation for government job should be and to convince them that boss there are other lucrative opportunities also is a big task but fortunately for the case of aditi she was smart enough to understand ki kahan pe bahut zyada attractive options hain and she automatically uh, changed her career track right so let's just Talk more on the journey ahead from here. कि एक बार decide हो गया कि software development में जाना है, IT sector में जाना है, lucrative है, better salaries, better growth, better career opportunities. थोड़ा सा भी दिमाग चलता है इस आदमी को उसे समझ में तो आ ही जाता है future यही है, right? कि अब सब कुछ सब लोग ही phone पे कर रहे हैं, everyone is working on building apps and tech startups are growing and everything, right? तो now that you have thought of कि अब IT sector में जाना है, अब क्या करें? ये कैसे solve किया? जब स्किल्स में इंक्रीज कर रही थी मैं आई वाज रिसर्चिंग ऑन यूट्यूब दैट हाउ कैन आई इन ऐड ऑन माय स्किल्स आई स्टार्टेड टेकिंग फ्री कोर्सेज बट दैट वाज नॉट इनफ आफ्टर दैट आई गेट टू नो अबाउट अ पे आफ्टर प्लेसमेंट प्रोग्राम आई गॉट वेरी इंटरेस्टेड अबाउट इट एंड देन आई रियलाइज दैट आई शुड रिसर्च अपॉन इट एंड देन आई लैंडेड अपॉन एट योर जॉब Okay. The first thing that att- attracted me towards this was uh, the convincing video of yours. <laughs> <laughs> I I really found it uh, really uh, convincing. I thought that this is something that I should give it a try. Mm-hmm. And after that, uh, um, I uh, researched more. I found it much more affordable than others. Mm-hmm. Then I took free modules. That was so uh, you know to the point. I mm-hmm. felt that uh, uh, after t- taking those modules, that I can clear it up. Mm. and then i gave the coding test i cleared it and then i realized that this is something i can make a career in got it got it very interesting so that is what i tell everyone right uh, that if you just give the free course a shot right the selection process has some modules and those modules are so to the point that you if you actually spend time doing them thoroughly and properly 
you will one get rid of that initial fear that I cannot do coding anymore, right? And that's exactly the case with Aditi. Coming from an arts background, just going through the modules, learning them properly, gaining confidence that yes, if I can learn these and can clear all the tests which they have, then I can definitely build a career further, right? So that's amazing and kudos to her that she took the leap, had confidence in herself, cleared all of it, got into Accio job main batch. Fortunately, you found us and not any other pay after placement bootcamp also. So good job on the researching part also, I would say, right? So oh, again, then I am sure first day you attended my orientation also, yeah. you got everything clear. Then you sort of spent the next seven days taking up the first week trial, yeah. got convinced that he can lo ko kuch aata hai, acha bhi madad kar paenge, yeah. right? Convinced ho gaye. Uske baad, how was the journey after, uh, from there, right? That is where the real hard work begins, right? Initially, I would say I used to feel very nervous and a new buy among all those technical background grads. Mm -hmm. So I felt that I will not be able to compete, compete with all of them. Uh, and the assignments that it, they, it was given on the Arteja portal, mm -hmm. I was looking that there were many boys who were on the top, ranking <laughs> on the top and I was nowhere near. <laughs> so I used to be very nervous initially. And uh, at the time when basic DSA was going on, I felt that uh, everyone knows all the basic and I am someone who is very very far. Right. But when the intermediate level starts, I realized that I am on the equal level. Mm. No one knows can you <laughs> <laughs> And everyone is very much, uh, very much similar. Yeah. And yeah. also the Weber sir, our mentor, um, in the initial classes, he used to say, don't go ahead of the classes. Mm -hmm. Because that was the thing that was making me nervous about yeah. myself, that I'm from some other background and all. So that was the thing. So from initial stages to the intermediate, I really built so much confidence in myself. Got That's it. Got it. So if you have to talk about your DSA learning journey, right? How would you say that what exactly worked for you? And what exactly from Accio job support helped a lot in that DSA learning path? Okay, so from my side, I would say the practice, hmm. the more you can practice, the better you make understanding. And uh, uh, from Accio job side, I would say uh, the, the doubt sessions that were there for me. Like every day we were having any doubt session. Whenever we are getting any doubts, we can just simply ask in the doubt session or outside of it. Yep. That was the thing. And also, I, I never felt that uh, I'm, I'm missing out anything. Even if I'm not practicing, then there were assignments there. Mm. That is going to remind me that <laughs> I have to practice today also. So it was the thing that helped throughout the journey. Perfect, perfect. So Aditi here is dropping truth bombs today, right? That you help me to help, you practice help. Karne wali hai. Right? Dusri thing is that you have to do a lot of BTEC CSIT, hoga, but you have to do a lot of BTEC CSIT. Right? They also know only that much. They are not exceptional coders. Trust me, I talk to hundreds of BTEC CSIT graduates, right? And they are all and like barely have 10 15 days of knowledge, right? So, uh, so yeah, anyone can take the leap, right? Practice is highly important on your DSA journey, like Aditi said. And Accio job helps you quite a lot because we keep pushing you, ki assignment kyun nahi kiya, assignment kyun nahi kiya, right? So that you build that consistency and that effort, right? Which is very, very important. Got it. So up after DSA, what is next? What are you learning? How is front end learning going on? Front end is very much, you know, full of designs and all. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it is very interesting. Sometimes it seems less interesting than DSA because <laughs> you don't have to build so many logics here. Yeah, yeah. But everything is going very, very well. Uh, got it, got it. So just for context to all the viewers, so Aditi actually took up our program and joined us in November, right? And uh, in March already she is placed. So she has completed her DSA journey with us. She has started and currently going through her front end journey with us. And after that, we'll be learning back end also. But she was smart enough and hardworking enough. So she got very, very, she got placed very, very quickly, right? So talking about placement, I'm sure sabko yehi sunna hai sabse zada hai na, sabse zada curious log wahi pe hote hai. So Aditi is placed at Converge, right? Which is a fintech startup, a high growth startup and has raised a couple of rounds of funding also. And she's going to be joining them as a software developer in Bangalore very, very soon. So Aditi, how was the entire experience of interviewing, placements and uh, the entire onboarding with that company? 
talking about placements now uh, initially when i was coming i was very uh, feeling no about it because everyone was asking for the eligibility of be btech bsc bca <laughs> so that is where the role of utkarsh has come into play yep and just for context yeah. sorry utkarsh is adpi's uh, batch manager right so utkarsh is the person who continuously stays in touch with everyone from aditi and her batch yeah. and keeps guiding and mentoring them on what they should do next how they what help do they need yeah so utkarsh sir provided me the referral and he said just do it and i blindly followed him i <laughs> practiced more and more around one week i did nothing except practicing and revising all the concepts yep. and after that i i got a call that i uh, get, have an interview a technical interview mm-hmm. although the interview was very much simpler than i thought that it would be but sometimes it may happen that your luck shines and <laughs> the mm-hmm. questions that is asking getting asked uh, is from the topic where you are strong enough but this will not happen every time you don't have to leave any vulnerability in your practice so just i took the worst case consider the worst case and practice all the topics up till intermediate level mm-hmm. and uh, i cleared that that and uh, up, just after that um, they they gave uh, assign me the date for hr interview and mm-hmm. then provide me the offer perfect perfect so okay uh, aditi uh, mm-hmm. how did you find the mentors and instructors at akio job how was the support from akio job side for the batch manager the most supportive person i have ever you know encountered in my life and he was guiding me throughout the journey yeah. i was in the state i was in this touch with him throughout the whole journey and i never never felt that i never met him or he's just online i felt that he's there with me hmm. all the time uh, about mentors uh, whether sir was you know decent enough to you know teach each and everything and the doubt solvers hmm. they were playing the very main role whenever yeah. we are having any doubts yeah. they are uh, replying us even if it is midnight and i'm asking any query if they are present or yeah. online they definitely gonna reply so it was the thing that i found very helpful about all of them i never felt that uh, there is something that i'm getting i'm being going to lag in so god god it's so amazing a uh, great job by the mentors as always so a shout out to riya and tanmay and webha and the entire Akshay, team sir. akshit and uh, the entire team including utkarsh who have managed a very seamless process for aditi yeah okay so aditi one more question we all have is that how was the placement preparation and placement readiness journey with resume building project building mock interview specifically uh, the mock interview the first mock interview you know helped me to build a good resume okay <laughs> i was not having a resume that can be shown to any company so that that thing that was improved firstly after that i built some confidence to explain my concepts through mocks i've given three mocks around and all those were very you know helped me in building confidence um and also the level of mock was increasing mm. so i felt that i if i can give this mock i can also sit in the placement wise and can clear those technical rounds yeah. so mock mock was very helpful mm. one final question and the most important i know the biggest advice which every one of us should give to students is that actually po- focus and put effort and hard work into your studies right that is the first thing which everyone would advise but let's hear more specific advice from aditi that what she has to share with other students who are joining akio job not joining akio job how can they make the best use of uh, their preparation time so that they can also get a good product based company so uh, the first advice would be stay consistent uh, complete your assignments on time don't let it be ki kal karenge parso karenge just do it on your on time uh, whenever you are practicing do ask queries in the doubt sessions if you are in active job they are going to help you a lot uh, give as much marks as possible because they will eventually increase the confidence level in you and uh, they will help they will you know guide you that how you can explain in the real technical interview uh after that i would say just have faith in yourself you can mm-hmm. do it anyone yeah. can do it yes yeah. uh and uh, okay finally aditi if you have to describe akio job in one word what will that be 
that will be uh, a transformational <laughs> because before joining this i was someone else but after joining it i have become a software engineer so perfect perfect on that note thank you so much aditi and we wish you very very uh, best for your journey ahead and career ahead and i'm we are very very confident that you will keep surprising us with great news ahead as well That's yeah sure. Yep. Most important is to have faith in yourself, right? Uh, you can come from any background. You have less than sixty percent in tenth or twelfth or graduation. You are coming from a BA degree, BCom degree, doesn't matter, right? If you're just confident of the fact that you'll be able to put in a lot of hard work and effort, you're motivated that I can spend the next few months learning a new skill, which can actually get me a great job. We are the right place for you, right? Uh, as Aditi says, and Aditi agrees, and she's seeing the output. So yeah, uh, cool guys. That's uh, that's it from us. Uh, thank you so much, Aditi. And most importantly, guys, also subscribe to this channel because we'll be sharing more such stories with Aditi and a lot of our other students. We'll be sharing a lot of resourceful content which can actually help you get started with your coding journey, right? So do subscribe, do like and share this video and help more people hear about stories like Aditi's. Yeah.